what I'm finding very interesting is how law enforcement officers have infiltrated a humble homeless man's and traveling businessman's account. Why is it that Twitter is accusing a man of using hateful imagery? I am looking at the last month and a half of my posts with regard to political consulting and I'm trying to figure out what it is that was posted as an image that is hateful in my account. When I attempt to look, I'm not even able to enter the account to see what I'm being accused of. So what I think is you have a lying network or you have a lying person who's aligning himself to lie to say that this is not okay with them. The liars always want to take people who are successful, people who are intelligent, people with spiritual gifts offline. If they can do that, then they have opportunities to harm them. And they can take away opportunities for them to get jobs. This is the lie that these military officers, these police officers tell people, is that they are not in charge of those companies, but they act like it all the time, don't they? Who is it in Twitter that's monitoring my accounts to say that I have been hateful? What voice in the world, what newscaster, what person who's watching my humble little account is saying this or doing this about my life? Tell me what EF Moran security employee was participating in abusing my account. Why is it now that I can't even see a Facebook page on my computer today? The liars of a Chinese community, the liars of a Korean play community, the liars of a Mexican house, the liars around the world, including police, are lying, stealing, and cheating you and me out of our social media channels that allow us to do business, allow us to get jobs, and allow us to communicate our opinions on what is happening in and around the world. As a lay reporter, I have the right to report on what is happening in this world today. The liars in America are always here to stay, play, and lay. But what I mean by that is they don't care who we are. They will lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our opportunities to earn and pursue life, liberty, love, and legacy.